all this morning, but uh, did you get did you get a chance to watch Inoue versus Donaire? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What 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 did you make of it? The, the I I didn't watch it live, and then I wasn't able to find it on the ESPN Plus app. I probably I'm not really that savvy with the with the phone and with uh with the apps and things like that. So I I may have missed it, but I was able to find a stream on YouTube. It was a little blurred. Uh, sound like it was someone over there in Japan, but to me, it looked like uh, it looked like Donaire's game plan was just to be aggressive and take the fight to uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. or however you say his name, I know uh, Tom Vitale <laughs> corrected me a zillion times. You, honestly, the best thing to do if you can't pronounce it is just the monster, say the, the monster. monster, yeah, yeah. It looked like he was trying to contain the monster by being aggressive, and that was working for him. Until they got caught, and you see immediately that just changed everything, the whole complexion of the fight. We had a different fight in the first round than we did in the second round, and I think ultimately yeah. that you know the second round he felt the power in the first round, and I think it forced him to kind of be be more defensive in the second round. And he's a monster, dude, man. Yeah, he is a monster. He's got that fight changing punching power. You know, it's almost like yeah. the minute the minute he seen it land that left hook, you saw Donaire's legs buckle and he just he ran out of answers uh fairly quickly. So what I'm learning is, or at least it seems to me, at the heavyweight division and at those lightweight divisions, it just looks like those the power is is immeasurable. And in the at the heavyweight class weight class, you just see guys, it's like a punch, it, it could be slow, it could be fast. And then the next thing you know, the other dude is just out cold. That's yep. just it's heavyweight power. And then now I'm seeing these lightweights are just throwing these really like devastating shots. <laughs> it's one punch. It had speed on it, but it didn't really look like it had the impact that like the lightweights now they it's like we're seeing some different power at those light divisions. Yeah, you know, with guys like uh, you know, the monster, you got uh, you know, Donaire. Um yeah. these, these these guys these guys these guys are normally, you know, the, the, they're normally more like a Chocolatito to where they're throwing, you know, eight hundred to a thousand punches and they're hurting you slowly, but but now it seems like we're getting more of those guys. Uh, uh I don't know if you're familiar with uh Kosai Tanaka, but he's another Japanese fighter uh who was scaling weight classes and and, and yeah. beating up on people just like that. So yeah, yeah I was I was really impressed because you know Nobody's done that to Donaire. Like, who does that to yeah. Nonito? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I went in the first round until he got dropped. And as the first round was was proceeding, I was like, "That's that's." I was rooting for Donaire. I'm like, "That's yeah. what you need." Like that kind of boxing style, you know, being aggressive and not allowing him to counter punch you, get in and get out. Like that's that's what's gonna get you to the promised land. And then out of nowhere comes a hook. And it was like, like, damn. And so it's like, for me, it's two things. Number one, we definitely got to give credit to, to the monster. But then number two, we got to look at the age of Donaire. We got to look at the mileage of Donaire. And we got to look at the fact that this, this fight is happening, like, in Japan. And, you know, I just think that the odds are against Donaire now, where, unfortunately, for a lot of us who are uh, Nonito fans, he, I think he now he's in a position that we don't want to see him in, where he can he's acceptable to damage now, and I think that's that's not where we want to see him. No, no, he's had listen. Uh, he has nothing to prove to me, you, or anybody else on on this planet. He's in, he's a first battle hall of famer. He's been at the championship level for well over a decade. He can hang his he can hang his gloves up his gloves up and be very proud of of, of the career he had. You know, a lot, a lot yeah. of fighters would would kill to have half that career. Yeah, yeah, he, he had um, and then like when if you close your eyes and you just kind of think back to like when he first like really burst on the scene for people who may not have watched and known him from the amateur system. If, if you knew him from the amateurs, you knew he was gonna be everything that he that he became. But yeah. um, if if you if you just kind of think about where he first kind of reached that stardom, and his lasted so much longer than a lot of guys. They're they're they're. they're seconds of fame are so short but his lasted so long and then for him to really just kind of recreate himself and go at it for a second time now and all the way up until well last night over there this morning for us it's it's he's had a special career to watch and i'm happy uh that i was able to see it
Uh, d- did you guys come up with the amateurs together? No, we didn't. And I was just about to say, like, I don't want to uh, retire him prematurely or anything like that. But, you know, when you when you went. So here, here's my thing. OK, when you can't perform the way you used to perform more. More chances than not. That's when you should start to say to yourself, how can I leave this sport in a way that everybody is going to respect me and appreciate me? And I think he's in a position now. I, I could be wrong, but it just looks to me like he might be in a position where he won't be able to uh, perform the way he has always yeah. performed. And for me, when you reach that point, that's when it's time for you to kind of salute your way out. You know, all that being said, we didn't come up in the ambush together, but his name was definitely echoed uh, along my way to uh, to the men's division. In, in the Ring bells. System. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 